Hay fever, also named as allergic rhinitis, will cause symptoms similar to common colds such as sneezing, itchy and runny nose, congestion and so on. Usually, medication is the most common way to ease the symptoms. However, for many patients, the medication cannot provide the expected results in relieving the symptoms or the side effects are not tolerable. In this case, some other types of treatments such as allergen immunotherapy can be considered. Allergen immunotherapy is not a new way to treat hay fever. On the contrary, this method has been used for over 100 years and it has been proved to be an effective way to relieve the symptoms in the long term. Unlike the normal medication which can only provide a short time of relief for the hay fever symptoms, the immunotherapy is aiming to train the immune system to react less intensive to allergens such as pollens, very similar to how the vaccination works. The delivery of allergen immunotherapy is much like the vaccination. Also referred as allergy shots, during immunotherapy, regularly a small amount of allergens will be injected to patient's body to make the immune system to gradually recognize the allergens and react less extensive than before. This is called as subcutaneous immunotherapy. Apart from the common pollen, other allergens such as dust mites or cat dander can also be used in the same way. Since the change of immune system will not happen quickly, it might take several years, usually three to five years, to complete the full course of treatment. In addition to the injection, some other methods, such as under the tongue pills, spray or drops can also be used to deliver the allergens to the human body. This is called as sublingual immunotherapy. The pills will be dissolved in the patient's mouth and then be totally absorbed. The medical specialists will be responsible for deciding the required injection dose. After each injection, patients may have some minor hay fever symptoms like itching or redness around the injection area. Some medications such as antihistamine can be used to relieve those symptoms. Although it is very rare to have anaphylaxis after the injection, patients should also pay attention to that serious allergic reaction since it might be life-threatening. Considering this, the injection is usually done at the clinic and usually the patient will be required to stay for a while in case of some severe symptoms. The oral therapy can usually be done at patient's home. The therapy dose should start with a small amount and gradually reach the required dose. Similar to the injection therapy, the patient may also experience some minor allergic reactions such as itching, especially in mouth. The antihistamine medication can be used to relieve the symptoms. Compared with the common medication, the result of immunotherapy is much better. This is due to the fact that the immune system is gradually trained to deal with those allergens, and thus a long-lasting relief is expected. To make sure the relief can last a long time, the treatment period can usually take more than three years. During this period, the patient should be able to see the improvement for those allergic symptoms gradually. In regard to treatment period, the patient should follow the advice from the medical specialists. Stopping the therapy too early may cause the whole treatment to be failed. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button or subscribe button for more interesting topics.